How is coronavirus tested? It starts with a swab, and unfortunately, uncomfortably, it's in the nose. But it's not the nose we're trying to get, it's actually further back into the nasopharynx, which is the back of the nose or the throat. It collects uh, cell tissue as well as liquids and potentially virus. From there, that swab is put into a machine called a PCR, polymerase chain reaction. Uh, when it comes to RNA viruses like COVID-19, you need to add a reagent called reverse transcriptase, and that's why we hear about RT-PCR. So that image, PCR is a simple small machine like in this photograph right here, and the swab is put into solution, and in the PCR machine, it amplifies all DNA that's contained in that sample. So we will get the person or the host DNA, but if there's virus, it'll amplify the viral DNA as well. Once that's filtered out to remove all the host or the human DNA, then you can look at what else is there, and that's how COVID-19 is identified. This is how COVID-19 was identified in the very first place with, through genetic testing to see that there was something anomalous in the swabs that, and it resulted, it was similar to a coronavirus, so they called it a novel coronavirus. And ultimately, when it was further identified to, to be renamed as COVID-19 from the year 2019. I did hear of a funny thing saying, we didn't get it right with COVID-1, but we finally did it COVID-19, which is one of the most idiotic, stupid, dumbest statements I've ever heard. And that's Kellyanne Conway, who is part of the Trump administration. So if you're gonna talk about COVID-19, do me a favor and read before you speak.